Hello everybody, this is Diane, and today I'm making one of the classics of the Mediterranean pizza. But not just any pizza, it's got a cauliflower crust. So we have our cauliflower, a little bit of feta cheese, some parsley, um, I have pureed garlic that I actually sell online, and an egg. The cauliflower is gonna go into the food processor, Cauliflower, even though it appears to be a little bit on the dry side, it's not a leafy vegetable, it's not a juicy vegetable, it actually contains quite a bit of moisture. So in this recipe, what I like to do for the crust is to bake the riced cauliflower a little bit first. We're trying to replicate all of the sensory pleasures of, of pizza that's typically made with a high gluten flour. We want that crunchiness. This is going right onto the baking tray. I'm gonna spread that into one fairly thin layer so that it has the space to dry out. This is going into the oven, preheated at 350 Fahrenheit, which is about 170 Celsius. We're gonna keep an eye on it. It should take between eight and 12 minutes. We've got a little color on this. There's still some moisture in here. So what I'm going to do is wring it out in a towel squeeze out as much of the moisture as we can. Okay, I think we got most of that dried out. I am gonna let it uh, cool down a little bit. And in the meantime, just chop up the parsley. Our parsley in here, the feta cheese. If you don't wanna use feta, you can use grated cheese for this. You could use a little bit of Parmesan. You don't want to use a cheese that melts into complete liquid. You want something that doesn't have so much moisture. An egg. Oops. And then kind of work all that together. We're going to get this back into the oven and pre-bake it before we add our toppings to it. Now, we're just going to pat the cauliflower into the pan and get it into an even piece. It doesn't have to be perfectly round or perfectly square. It's actually kind of nice if it's a little bit amorphous. We're gonna bake this now for about 15 minutes until it's nice and firm. And in the interim, I'm gonna steam the kale. So this is going right into the oven. As the cauliflower crust is baking, I'm gonna steam the kale, let that heat up. I'm just gonna break it up into some smaller pieces. Kale can be a little bit tough, and steaming it helps tenderize it. If you don't have kale, or if you don't like kale, you could use another leafy green on this. Swiss chard is nice. That's also a pretty substantial green. It has some body, so it won't totally wilt. Maybe just a nice leafy spinach that's organic, preferably. Let's see if that's boiling. So I have my steamer basket over about an inch or so of water. And I'm just gonna let that steam for a minute or two. Your recipe calls for adding uh, garlic to the cauliflower crust, and I have to admit, I forgot to do that. So we'll just make up for it by adding a little bit of garlic to the topping, which is this ready peeled Greek garlic. It's very delicious and very aromatic. The kale is steamed, it just takes a few minutes. It's nice and bright, it's a beautiful color, and we wanna put this in a colander to drain it a little bit. This will also cool down, slice up some garlic, and then I'm just gonna slice the mozzarella. Now you could also use bocconcini, the little mozzarella balls in this. Wow, smells great. I can smell that, that nice feta cheese. I love that smell. Now we're just ready to finish the pizza. So I'm gonna get some garlic. You can wring out the kale if you want. Reopen it so you get the leaves. And we're just gonna get this all around the pizza. And we're gonna add the mozzarella slices next. And just get those kind of evenly placed. Just a little bit of salt. And just a tiny, tiny drizzling of olive oil. So when we put the pizza back in the oven, assembled to bake off the last time for those last few minutes, we wanna lower the heat on the oven to 375. That needs to bake now for around seven minutes, give or take a minute or so in each direction. Oh, that is a beautiful sight and a beautiful smell. In the name of totally healthy indulgence, I present to you a cauliflower crust pizza. I have to try this, of course. 
Now, should I attempt to try this the way a New Yorker would eat pizza? I don't think so. Mm. The feta cheese and the cauliflower crust is really nice, but it's really the kale and the mozzarella that make this really special.